What is up YouTube? It's your boy Grizz and today we are going to be attempting to rebuild that team. If you guys know what I'm talking about, whenever the Pistons were on their huge losing streak and they were about to beat the Celtics, I mean they were up by like 30 so they were up crazy and the Celtics ended up actually winning this man right here, Kyle Kuzma posted something on Twitter or X, whichever way you look at it now, and said, at this point, you just do not want to be that team. Well, I have news for any Washington Wizards fans, and I have news for the Washington Wizards themselves. You are now that team. They have, the wor they have a worse record than the Detroit Pistons, and they've only won eight games, I'm pretty sure, maybe nine. I believe it's eight, though. That's pitiful at this point. You're already post-All-Star break. You brought in who was supposed to be the best trade. You picked up Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole's been a flop for you guys. He's been doing better off the bench than he is as a starter, which is kind of disappointing. I like Jordan Poole. I like his energy. But he signed to a four-year, $111 million contract. And dude's a 79 overall, and I think averaging like 16 points off the bench, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But do you really want to pay a bench player 111 mil? You got Tyus Jones. I really like him as a guard. Love him in Kentucky or Duke? Duke. Yeah, that's what I thought. Love him coming out of college. He's been he's been a role player, a serviceable point guard. Uh, Denny Avila, he looks good in certain times, but obviously not a star yet. And then Kyle Kuzma is your supposed best player. Um, yeah, this team needs a lot of work. They hired your boy to come in and do it in four years, and hopefully I can. I do like the trade they did for Marvin Bagley. Um, obviously, Marvin Bagley is the guy that is a cheap, I mean, 12, 12 and a half mil a year. He's a serviceable center. I think he's definitely got some time to grow. Uh, this team is young, very young. So we're going to obviously capitalize on that. Look at moving some picks because obviously, you know, your boy doesn't build through the draft. But for right now, I think my number one thing I want to do is at least move Jordan Poole for somebody that I think will do better. Granted, it is 2K, so Jordan Poole should sure progress at least a little bit, but you never know. But 100%, the first thing I want to do is trade Kyle Kuzma. And these dudes don't even have their first pick. Are you kidding me? This is wild. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to see what I can do. All right, guys. So the first trade of the video, we're going to be sending Kyle Kuzma, our second round pick, and Anthony Gill. Jill, Gill, I don't know. For Wendell Carter Jr. and Jonathan Isaac, we're going to be trading away one of our starters for two starters. So, love Jonathan Isaac. I wish he could stay healthy because I think he's a great player. Showed a lot in the bubble. And then, obviously, Wendell Carter Jr. is going to be our starting center. Both of these guys slide right in. Um, next, we're going to do is maybe... I mean, I'm, just, I'm going to see what the market is like for Jordan Poole. I'm not going to 100% trade him because, obviously, like I said, he should progress. But... I'm going to kind of look around. I think 100%. But why am I getting all these? You can't trade. I th that's why I do my NBA life. Um, Tyus Jones is 27. I do like how cheap he is. But if we can pick up someone better, we're going to do that as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these guys are brothers. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, unless there's something better out there. Miles Bridges is great, but he's going to be a free agent. And he's going to want some big money. We're going to do it. We're going to pick up his brother. <laughs> All right. I think it's his brother. I look really dumb if it's not. Let me see what else I want to do. And I'll be back. All right, guys. So I wasn't able to make a trade for Jordan Poole. The market just wasn't there right now. I wouldn't be getting what I wanted. The only guy... <laughs> I wasn't even remotely looking at was Emmanuel quickly, but I think Poole will score a decent amount. So I have Poole, Bilal Kulabi, Denia Villa, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr., Corey Kispert, Trey Jones, Marvin Bagley, Isaiah Livers, and Landry Schmidt. Now we're definitely running a 10 man rotation. Yeah. I did take some minutes away from some of these guys. 
only because I want Jordan Poole and Bilal to progress. I think all, but all three of these guys need some minutes. So that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to submit into the season. Obviously, don't expect much. I really wish we had our first round pick, but we don't. So, I mean, it kind of is what it is. We haven't even won a game. That's crazy. But see you guys at the end of the season where hopefully we can win at least more than eight games. But it doesn't look promising. <laughs> All right, guys. So, here at the end of season number one, obviously, everyone expects it. Luka takes MVP, never changes. Wimby, rookie of the year. Kus. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. And then Oscar Oscar gets clutch player of the year. Guys, I do have something very important to tell you. Obviously not seeing any wizards here. But we will get did get all via second team. We didn't make the playoffs. But check it. Check it. We are the worst team, but we won 26 games. That's more than they're probably going to win in real life. Just play, just saying. Hmm. So now we get, wow, well, average of 18 points a game. Ooh, are the Bucks going to win? They do. Okay, okay, Dame, I see you. Dame and Giannis. Player retirements. No, LeBron, you don't get to retire. So, draft lottery. I don't think our pick had any sort of protection on it. That sucks. No, we do. We get the third overall pick. Yeah, we're going to be trading that. Might be. Well, first, hold on. Ah, oh, shoot. One. All right. Oh, we have two picks. All right. Now, the value's there. Now, let me see what I'm going to do. I'll be back. All right, guys. So, here with our third overall pick, we're going to trade that and Marvin Bagley Jr. for Jaron Jackson Jr. Huge upgrade there. Obviously not going to play one bit. And then we also had a 15th overall pick. Oh, that's terrible. Really? Damn. There's some stuff there. So I'm going to see. I'll probably just roll with it. Hopefully they draft us someone good. And we can always try to trade them. So see you guys in free and see if we have any money. Newsflash, we were the worst team in the league and still did not have any money. But here at Player Progression, Bilal did go up to an 80. No progression under anybody else. Why do I never have anybody progress? While people like Jaw go up to like a 94. Hmm, that sucks. All right. Huh, I mean, I'm not mad about this. But I definitely need a power forward, so let me go get one. All right, guys, hear me out. As much as I like this guy, as young as he is, he averaged nine points as a starter last season. Terrible. The Hawks offer us this, our star, to pair with Jaron Jackson Jr. You bet I'm going to take that. <laughs> no question. Now let me just kind of see... Now we just need a starting power forward. So let's go do that. All right, guys. Here at the end of season number two, at least Jokic gets MVP. Usually it does happen like that. Oh, this, this hurts. Who's on the sixth man of the year again? Wimby, defensive player of the year. Brandon, most improved. Dane Clutch. Monty Williams, coach of the year. The Pistons are better than we are already. Oh man, any wizards? Nope, nope, nope. All right. We finished with, hey, we were tied for worst in the league. We got three-way tie, we were 28 and 54. Not good by any means, but yeah, it's terrible. Stat-wise, Trey Young with 25 points a game and 9 assists. We love to see that. Jordan Poole with 16. Jaron Jackson Jr. with 15, 6, 2.5 steals. Or blocks, sorry. 
Wendell Carter Jr. with 12 and a half off the bench. I'm glad I didn't trade him. And then everybody else is just kind of garbage. Denny is 100% getting traded if you're going to put up those numbers. Obviously, we didn't make the playoffs, so see you guys in the offseason. All right, guys, here, player progression in year number, going into year number three. Uh, nothing. I mean, I did sign this Malachi Branham because he was in free agency. I mean, why would you say no to that? I know. I mean, he puts up all right points. Um, Corey Kispert goes up. Somehow Jordan Poole does not, even though he's averaging 16. Why is progression so so rough? I don't know. Like, why isn't Trey Young going up? I don't, I don't get it. But we're going to head into year number three. I'm going to make some moves and hopefully at least compete. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do trade-wise. All right, guys. First trade we're doing is Jaron Jackson Jr., our 2027 first-round pick, and Denny Ave Aviva for Demondis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox. Obviously, two guys. I mean, it's kind of a self-explanatory trade. And then we're getting rid of Jordan Poole. You can't be averaging that and not progressing at all. I'm very disappointed in that. And then we're going to be trading Jordan Poole for Walker Kessler to be our sixth man off the bench or our defensive anchor, whichever way you want to look at it. Oh, actually, they want Kessler to play power forward. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> and now let's just get a higher overall small forward. I think we're set. And then we're going to be trading away our rookie and our 2028 first round pick from the 76ers for Jonathan Kaminga. And now we just kind of move around some positions. All right, so the Sabonis is not going to be moving down. Kessler, we'll just let him play there. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right, that's exactly what we're going to roll with, guys. Guys, guys, we have somebody new as MVP. I've never seen Tyrese Halliburton win MVP, but here he is. Love to see it. Chucky Jenkins <laughs> wins Rookie of the Year. And Sixth Man of the Year. Man, this guy's just getting every accolade. How would the Spurs just take three? Jalen Green, most improved player. Dang, he left the Rockets. Interesting. Dame Fletch Player of the Year, Rick Carlisle Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year, John Murphy. Do we have a wizard this year? No. 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 Dang, that's crazy. But guys, we were the sixth seed. Big improvement. We finished with a 45 and 37 record. And stat wise, We had Trey Young with 22, Darren Fox with 20, Kaminga with 16, Sabonis with 15, Branham off the bench with 12, Walker Kessler did exactly what I wanted him to do. I was thinking about trading him to try to pick up a better power forward, but thought to myself, hey, we need a defensive anchor on our squad. He filled in perfectly with 10 points, 11 boards, but the big thing is nearly three blocks and shot 64% from the field. So that's exactly what I wanted him to do, and that's exactly what he did. So with that being said, we are playing the Orlando Magic here in round number one as we take game two and game three and game four. Yeah, they take five. Ooh, seven game series. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? We lost two in a row. Dang it. All right. Well, I don't care about any of that. Pacers go on. Tyrese Halliburton wins them over any. All right. Well, Heading into our fourth and final year. Hopefully we can make something happen. All right, guys. Here at Playing Progression, obviously, Simonis goes down. He's 30. Trey Young goes down, which is terrible. Branham goes up two. Johnny Davis goes up. And then we lost De'Aaron Fox. Okay, that sucks. We lost more than just De'Aaron Fox. Where did Walker Kessler go? What the heck? They didn't even give me the option to re-sign them. That's terrible. All right. Well, we got some work to do. Hopefully, we can make this team compete and hopefully win a ring. I doubt it, though. First things first, we're going to bring in DeJounte Murray to pair back with good old Trey Young. Then we're going to trade Trey Young for Scotty Barnes. Big trade there. And... 
Now we just need a PG. And we're getting that in Malik Monk. Hear me out here. Just take a look at his stats. That's all I got to say. So, might look to make a few more moves, but this might be a team that can hopefully sneak into the playoffs and at least get us in playoff berths. All right, guys, I take that back. We do need some more people on the squad, so I'm going to flip Scotty Barnes. Make sure there's not a better trade out there. No. All right, so we're going to flip Scotty Barnes, and we're going to pick up Brandon Ingram and Jalen Williams. Obviously, those are two guys that are going to fill two more holes in the squad, and I probably will still try to pick up a better overall point guard, but in all reality, if Malik Monk is what we're going to roll with, I'm okay with it. All right, guys. So a very unfortunate end to this rebuild as we didn't even make the playoffs. We were terrible. But in hindsight, we at least made the playoffs one season, which is more than I think the Wizards are going to do for a while. But very unfortunate. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment what team you would like to see me rebuild next. Hopefully the next team we can at least win a rink with. I think we definitely would have if I would have realized that De'Aaron Fox and Walker Kessler and Jonathan Kaminga weren't going to be able to be re-signed. So I think they actually had player options is what I'd be willing to bet. And they just dipped, which I can't blame them. So, that being said, you guys take it easy. And I'll be back hopefully tomorrow night with a video. Sorry for the lack of video last night. I fully planned on doing this video and posting it. But the good old Elgato went down. So your boy had to wait for an extra day. But I got it figured out, obviously. So, be back soon.